Dr. Bob here with the Respondus Tech Tip. Respondus 4 lets instructors create exams and seamlessly publish them to a learning management system. But in order for the publishing step to work, the instructor must enter details about their learning system server into Respondus. Sometimes these details are complex, so we've developed a feature that allows instructors to bypass this step altogether. It basically requires the administrator of a campus-wide license of Respondus 4 to determine what the settings should be. Log in to the administrator area at respondus.com and then copy those settings to the pre-configured service settings feature available there. Let's start at the top and see how this works. Within Respondus 4, the administrator goes to the Publish Wizard, enters the service settings that are required, and confirms they work with the learning system. The next step is for the administrator to log in to the administrator area at respondus.com. Select the Respondus campus-wide license link, scroll to the section labeled Preconfigured Service Settings, and select the link labeled Setup for Preconfigured Service Settings. Now select the link for Create a New Server Profile. The administrator then follows the on-screen directions for copying and pasting the server settings that were previously obtained with Respondus 4. Once the settings have been entered, select the Save Changes button at the bottom of the screen. At this point, it's highly recommended that the administrator try out this feature in Respondus 4. This will confirm that everything was set up correctly. The steps to test this feature are the same as the steps an instructor takes to publish an exam. So let's look at the instructor perspective now. Back in Respondus, I have an assessment that's ready to be published. I'll go to the Preview and Publish tab, select Publish to my LMS, and then start the Publish Wizard. As you can see, there are no server settings yet for this copy of Respondus, so I'll select Add a New Server. I'll then select Yes, check for preconfigured service settings for my institution, and click Next. The new settings have been detected and will be used for publishing exams to my learning system. I then enter a name for the server and enter my username and password for the learning system. If I'm using my own computer, I'll check this box so I don't have to re-enter the details each time I publish an exam to my courses. Finally, I will want to run a connection test. This message tells me everything is working fine. So all I have to do now is click Finish, and I'm ready to publish my exam to my course. As you can see, it's easy for administrators to set up the pre-configured server settings. And once it's done, instructors can skip the manual process of entering those settings themselves. This is Dr. Bob with another Respondus Tech Tip.